Hi, this is Brad from Vintage Camper Rescue. Just a short little update video of some techniques that I've used. I'm um, working on the 62 Aristocrat. I've had quite a few emails from asking how I did this and that and whatnot. So I'm just going to walk through some of the stuff that I did for this finishing. And none of this is none of these are really my ideas. I've learned these from tutorials, asking a lot of questions, finding people who have done this a lot longer than me. You know, folks like Canned Ham and Rob and Bud and Doug and all those folks that have just been doing this while well and they're just great community assets. So for the metal, um, I just drilled holes in each corner. Then you go on the outside with a sharpie or something mark from edge to edge and then using um, some snips, you cut out the window uh, edge. So let me come up out here. So I just draw a line from the hole to the hole and all the way around and using pneumatic uh, shears just sheared along and then used you know cut a little bit bigger then you start trimming it down as you go to get to the exact hole fitting so the um, window will slip in and then I stapled it to the to the frame uh, to keep it keep intact so pretty cool idea using these shears these are just this is pneumatic but they make them electric battery what have you and then I just had some um, side snips to you know, trim some, I got some right cut, left cut, and, and straight. So the windows I'm working on, just had to back out all these little tiny screws here to get pop out the old, the old gasket so I could put a new gasket in. I got all these gaskets from Vintage Trailer Supply and, and VintageTrailerGaskets.com. This is the old gross one. It was shrinking out and it was brittle. Yeah, VintageTrailerGaskets.com. They'll send you a little sample pack and everything. Just put a little tri-flow into all the uh, lubricant to clean the uh, the cranks. I don't use WD-40 because that can actually dry stuff out. That's good for breaking rust. But when I go to lube stuff, I like this tri-flow uh, because it doesn't evaporate out. It, it just protects it and does a lot of cool stuff. So my preference there. So heading over to the windows, um, I ordered new felt for the side. So this is a hair 1626 model. And so new felt, got some new uh, upper strip coming, upper strip, lower strip. They're the same on this window. I'm going with the original uh, gasket. There's another style. Um, it's like a, it's like a O-ring type gasket, but I have the larger, the larger receiver there, so I can put the, you know, this V-shape back in there. The glass will clean up. Everything will clean up and polish. I'm not going to replace these uh, bumpers because. Yeah, they're old, but they're still there and intact. And um, cleaning up the the metal, I had this meet the 62 Aristocrat. I'll do a before and after video once that's done. Um, media blasted with a light media blast, and I decided that the metal was just had too many holes in it and other stuff, so I got an all new metal for it. But I'm keeping the original uh, eyebrows, aluminum trim, whatever. I'm not sure what this is called, but. These are original. They're, I like these a little better if you can save them because they're thicker. They're thicker and a little more durable. They don't bend as easy, but the blasting did scuff it up a bit. And I thought I'd ruined it, but I didn't. I was able to get this polished up just with a little, tiny bit of elbow grease. It didn't take a whole lot, frankly. I just used a little bit of 180 sandpaper to re-smooth it. Then some triple zero steel wool with WD-40, so I use the WD-40 spray it on there, you know, triple zero, and um, came out looking great. And personally, I prefer, and my so far my clients seem to prefer the anodized aluminum look over the bright chrome. Um, is it still because it looks a little vintage still? So this camper's getting about done to fit and finish, but I have a lot of windows to polish still. So that's going to be my week this week, but that was just a quick walkthrough of some techniques that I picked up from other builders and sharing them with you um, in case you're interested in seeing how I do some of the things that I do. And I was able to, just a quick, a quick uh, to do here. This is a, this was fun. I found these, Vintage, a box of vintage lights. Like this one's way far gone, but I was able to recover. These are the original, some original Pathfinders. But I found four that were really clean that I polished up, saved the glass on them. Usually these, you know, center things are pretty well rotted out, but I found replacement sockets. And they're available about anywhere, but 
guess what? I'm going to put some new socket bases in there, clean these up, and put some original Pathfinder lights back on some of these campers. So if you can save, that's why I'm Vintage Camper Rescue. Um, the rescue part is rescuing as much hardware, appliances, cabinetry as you can. But these campers, when you get them, the way I get them, they're usually pulled out of the wood. So that's kind of a cross between a rebuild and a restoration. And the definition of a rebuild versus restoration can vary by whose ever opinion you ask. But for me, I'm Vintage Camper Rescue. And I rescue as much as I can and rebuild and restore. So in this camp, particular camper, everything interior was restored. But the walls and the floor and the ceiling were all rebuilt because there was no longer any structure left to them. So that's just kind of my take on it. And it seems to be working. So I have a lot of fun doing it. So this is great. Okay, just a quick video, guys. And um, thanks for watching.